Hi, Grandmaster Hafner here. At Keith Hafner's Karate, we run a very social business. And that means we, we meet people and talk with people and entertain people and have people come into our facility all the time, every day. And so we are always cognizant of social skills and sometimes of the lack of them. And I wanted to just cover some things that I think are, are kind of shortcuts or hacks that you can use to really ramp up um, you, your level of social skills. And I hope you understand how important that is and that, you know, we have this kind of social contract with everybody else and it's important that we learn how to um, engage effectively with other people in both business and social situations. I'm not sure those skills are taught effectively and uh, we work on them with the young people at Keith Hafner's Karate, but I'm just going to give you a, a short list. I don't think they're in any particular order. Um, number one, be on time. If you're going to a movie with your friends and it starts at 7.30, be there at 7.30. Be in your seat. If church starts at 10, be in your pew at 10. If your in-laws invite you over at 4, be there at 4. We send out invitations a lot. And RSVPing, if you have ever been a host, you know how important that is to know who's coming. Some people, when they see, when they get an invitation and it says, please RSVP, what they think that means is, let us know if you're coming. And otherwise, just ignore this. But if somebody goes to all the trouble to invite you to something and they ask for an RSVP, do it to say either yes or no. And do it early. You've hosted stuff before, and you know how difficult it is to not know until the last minute how many people were coming. And if somebody invites you over, bring something. If somebody invites you over for dinner or invites you to a party, don't show up empty-handed. Bring some flowers, bring some bread, bring a, a small gift. Somebody asks you a question. Somebody says, what are you going to do this weekend? Picture this. Fred, what are you going to do this weekend? Well, I'm going uh, boating with my son-in-law. And then he doesn't say anything else. Phew. That's awkward socially. Fred should understand that if somebody asks you a question, a, 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 a somewhat personal question, like, what are you going to do, or how do you feel about this, or did you watch that show, or any of the questions that take place uh, socially. It's good manners to ask a similar question or the same question back. Knowing how to introduce yourself to people that you don't not yet know is important, and also being skilled and comfortable and relaxed in making introductions. Marvin, I'd like you to meet my wife, Renee. Renee, this is my friend from work, Marvin. Being able to effortlessly transact those introductions is important. And by the way, this is a huge one. Remember people's names. I'll, I'll tell you a little secret. I cheat. I write down people's names when I hear them, and then I go back and read that list. So my, the title of my video is how to step in something sticky. But what I really mean is how to not step in something sticky. Work on your social skills. And I think in today's uh, high tech environment with uh, streaming and social media, it's easy to lose sight of what it is like and the, and the skill that is required to deal with other people in person effectively.